Okay, so get your Excel picture quiz opened up from yesterday that we uh, started to do. Notice I've deleted out the Baylor and all this other stuff. Okay, here's what our goal is for today. What we are going to do is we're to uh, I'm going to show you how to protect um, the sheet. I'm also going to show you how to hide the cells and how to lock the cells so people can't go in and change things. And I'm also going to, we're also going to put at the top a total points and percentage correct. Total correct and percentage correct. Okay, so the first thing that I'd like you to do, where it says you've got it, or whatever yours says, um, if you go ahead and uh, right click on that, so right click on that box, go down to format cells, okay, and yours might come up number, you have all these tabs up here that we've done before, okay, what I want you to do is go to protection. Okay, so again, right click on the box, format cells, and then click on the protection tab up at the top. Okay, now there's going to be two check boxes that you see up there. There's going to be locked and hidden. So let me explain real quick, quickly, real quickly what these two mean. A cell that is locked means when you protect this sheet, nobody else can enter anything into it. It's locked. You will not, nobody will have access to even um, like type into it. So that's one of the things that we're going to do for some of the cells. Hidden means that the contents of the formula, notice right up here I have, you can see the formula, if e, A2 equals Alabama, what we're going to do is we're going to actually hide that. Because there's a way if you don't hide it, that people can just see what the answer is and they can just type in the answer Alabama. So that's the reason that we're doing these two things. So what I want you to do is make sure that both these boxes are checked, locked and hidden. And when those both are checked, so there should be a check mark in both those boxes, go ahead and hit OK. All right. We are also going to do the same thing with number one down here. So we're going to right click and we're going to go to format cells. We're going to go to protection. We're going to make sure that both locked and hidden are check marked. When that is done, we hit OK. Now we want to go to the Alabama one or whatever your A2 is. We want to right click on that. We want to go to Format Cells, and we want to make sure that neither locked or hidden is checked. The reason being is that we want to actually type in, have the, um, who's ever taken your quiz, be able to type in the information into that cell. If we lock that cell, they won't be able to type in that cell. Hidden doesn't really matter because we don't have a formula in there, um, so, but we just will keep hidden unchecked as well. So make sure that in cell A2, you have it checks so it's neither locked or hidden. So neither no, should not be a check mark in either one of those boxes. All right, hit OK. Now one of the ways that you can do this, now some of you have already started to, um, you've already uh, done your, where you dr uh, drug it across and started to change things. But what we can do here is if you haven't gone up and changed your B, C, D, E to 194 pixels, you can do that. So highlight B and drag across up here. Change that to 194 pixels. Okay, and then go down in between uh, 5 and 6 over on the left side. I believe that's 170 pixels. So in between 5 and 6, drag that down to 170 pixels. Okay, and then we'll move, we'll move this down. So then we're going to go 6, 7, 8. We'll go in between 9 and 10 and drag that down. 270 pixels. Okay, and then 10, 11, 12. So in between 13 and 14, we want to also make those. So we're going to do five, basically have five rows. 10, 11, 12. They're going to be 170 pixels. So that way we have 100 or uh, 25 different boxes that we're going to do. 14, 15, 16, so in between 17. Okay, so I'm doing that. So you'll now notice that I have five boxes across and five boxes down where I could put pictures in. 
Now, it doesn't necessarily have to be pictures. Here's another application that you're another way you could use it. Let's say you're uh, t currently taking a Spanish class or a French class, and you wanted to use like the word pero, right? So in here, I'd say type in pero, and then I want somebody to tell me what the English uh, uh, word for that for pero is. It should be dog, right? So there's other ways you can do it besides uh, pictures. Okay, now once we have uh, this set up, here's how quickly and efficiently we can do this. And if you didn't. If you've already started to put in some of your pictures, you can hang tight. I'll show you another way of doing it. Okay, but what we can do is we can highlight over these three. So highlight over these three cells. And again, go to the bottom right corner and we can drag across. Right? Now, we can also then right click, uh, go to copy, and go down to cell um, A7, which actually... Uh, I, I didn't do this correctly because we need to have, we should have had, no, no, we're good, no, we're good. What I want to do is I want to drag just these two, cells three and four, hit copy, right, right click copy, go down to cell A7, hit paste, notice it says better luck next time, go down to cell A11, hit paste. Cell A14 and hit paste. So I'm gonna, I'll go ahead and show you that again. So what I'm doing is I'm taking this information, and I didn't necessarily need to copy the Alabama, so I can delete that. Right. So I'm gonna copy these two. I'm gonna highlight these two. Go to the bottom right corner, drag across. Okay. Then I can hit copy, Control C, go down to A7, hit Control V, go down to 11, Control V. Go down to 14, hit Control V. Okay? So what I have is I have my template all ready to go. Right? All these cells, actually, you know what I want you to do? I'm sorry, I, I forgot about this one step. I actually want you to highlight all three of these and drag it across. It's not going to take you much time. The reason being is, remember we un, uh, on Alabama, we unlocked that cell. So if we copy and paste now, that all those cells would be unlocked. Let's go ahead and because we unlocked the Alabama, so just highlight these three here, drag it across. Okay, then you go right click, copy, go down to cell A6 now, hit paste. Go down to cell A10, hit paste. Uh, okay. So this is how it should look at this point right here. Correct? All right. Now. Let me go ahead and now if you, for example, let's say that you had already started to create your picture quiz and you had some pictures in, all you have to do is if you highlight over uh, the top here where you're actually typing something in, you can still do the same thing. Go to right click format cells and just make sure it's not locked. So you can highlight over more than one cell to make sure it's not locked. In fact, you could actually do, um, you could do, if you hold down control, you could go down to all your cells like this and make sure that if you go to right click, format cells, make sure they're not locked. Okay? So that's how you can do it if you've already started to put stuff in. So again, why do we hide the cells? What's the reason? Well, if you don't hide the cells and somebody pulls up your uh, Excel spreadsheet, they can do something really quickly. Even if your cells are locked and you can't go into it, if, if somebody hits control and tilde, notice what you see on the screen now. You see the formulas that I have in there. So now I can see the formula. So I, I wouldn't have to know the answer. I could just look up, all right, Alabama, Alabama. I could find the answers. So if you don't hide those cells, then you don't hide the formula. It's real easy for somebody to take your quiz. So you must hide your cells. Hit control tilde to get out of it. All right, so here's the next thing that we are going to do. Go up to uh, cell A1 up here, over on the, um, or actually just one, 
row one over here on the left side. And what I want you to do is I want you to go right click, insert. All right, and right click, insert. And so you notice it created this little, uh, a very small row up at the top. I'm going to go extend it out to um, 70, 70 pixels. Okay, so again, right click, insert. Okay, again, there should not, you should not be doing the pictures or anything right now. You should be following along with me in Excel. So if you're on the internet, you're not where you need to be. You need to follow along with me so that you know how to do this. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to type in um, total correct. We're going to tab over to C. We're going to type in percentage correct. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to actually create um, some formula, a formula here uh, to determine how many of these we have. There's a couple different ways you can do this. Like anything else, in Excel is something, there's multiple ways you can do things. I'm just going to show you one way of doing it. It's a different formula than just the if. And so we're going to do, uh, do a slightly different formula. So you're going to have to follow along with me to make sure that you understand this. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to type in in cell B1 equals count, C-O-U-N-T-I-F, count if. Then we're going to go left parenthesis. And we're going down to cell A5. We're going to drag across just A5 through E5. Then I want you to uh, push down control and go down to cell A9 through E9. Keep control down. Go A13 through E13 through A17 through uh, E17. And let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4. I think I need to actually have some more. I only have... 20 pictures in mind, don't I? One, two, I only have four rows. You should have five. And so then hold down. If you go down to, let's see, probably be what? Let's see, uh, 19, 20, 22. Would that be correct? Oop, that is not what I wanted to do. Oop, escape. All right, so let's start over now that I've added in the new row. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to cell B1, uh, and we're going to go equals count if left parenthesis. We're going to go A5 through E5. Hit control, do A9 through uh, E9. Make sure controls, you're holding down control. A13 through E13. A17 through E17 and A21 through E21. Okay, now, what you need to do then is you need to hit, uh, need, need comma, and then you're going to go uh, one, right parenthesis. Well, let's see, what am I? Yeah, I should be able to press enter on. Okay, we're not going to be able to do it that way, and the reason is because it's actually looking at the cell and it's looking at the uh, formula in the cell. So here's easy way we can do it is uh, do it like this. Just a little bit different way of doing it. So let's uh, remove our formula there. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Let's go down to cell F5. Go down to cell F5. And... And we're going to go ahead and, and F5, go up to the Home tab, and we're going to do a sum. Actually, not. I'm sorry, not a sum. Let's do a... Uh... All right, sorry for the confusion. Here's what we're going to do. Okay, so delete anything out of B1 that you have. 
here's how we're going to do this. It's actually pretty easy. I was just trying to be a little more sophisticated than I needed to be. All right, so here we go. Ready? We're going to type in equals S-U-M left parenthesis. And then we'll just do what we just did. So we're going to drag A5 A, uh, to E5, hit control, A9 to E9, A13 to E13. You got to have control. You got to keep holding control down. A17 through E17, uh, and A21 through E21. And then once you're done, you can let go of control and hit enter. And when you scroll back up, you'll notice 25 now is in that box. Well, you, your, yours may be different because if you don't have every, like I have Alabama, so you got it. I'm, I have a point for each one. So it should be the number of points that you have. So notice, right, if I go up here and I change this to Nebraska or anything else, right now it says 24. Okay, so the next thing I'd like you to do, this formula is real easy. Let's go over cell D1. Okay, cell D1. And what I want you to do is I want you to type in there equals this here divided by 25. So equals B1 divided by 25. Hit enter. Notice, notice it gives me a percentage. Yes, you do the slash sign. Okay, this last part that I'm going to show you is how to protect the sheet. So when you protect the sheet, when you then upload it, you have to protect the sheet before you upload it into Angel or you send it into me to have other people take it. And here's how this works. So you're going to go up to Review, and you're going to hit Protect Sheet. So go up to Review and Protect Sheet. Some of you are, I don't see you in Excel. Get off the internet, follow along with me, otherwise you're going to have to ask questions. Okay, it's, it's fine. You can go back. Just Okay. Go to review. doesn't matter where you're at. I'm going to show you how to do this, and then you can go back. Go review, protect sheet. Up here, review tab, protect sheet. Then what I want you to do is I want you to make sure it says allow users on this worksheet to select locked cells. No, we don't want them to do that, so uncheck that. All we want is select unlock cells. Okay, now you can put your password in whatever password you want to put in. We're going to be able to change this later, so just follow along and then you can come back here. So I'm going to hit OK. It's going to ask you to re enter your password. Don't tell anybody your password, otherwise, they can do it. Okay, now, once you protect your sheet, here's what I'd like you to do I want you to hit Control. And then the tilde, which is right next to the number one. Control and then tilde. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Control and then the tilde, which is right next to the number one. Okay, notice the only formula that you see is the one that I didn't protect or didn't hide up there, B1, which I'll go hide in a minute. But you notice you don't have the formulas that I have down here. Okay, if you do, then you did not follow instructions properly on how to hide your cells. Okay, so here's how you need to get, here's how you can get back. So hit control tilde, go to unprotect your sheet, type in your password, and then put it, the information in. So for me, I forgot to, I need to go to format cells here. I want to make sure this is hidden, this formula, and hit OK. And I want to go here, format cells. Hidden, yeah, hidden and locked. Okay, then there's one last step that I'd like you to do as well. Okay, once you have everything set up, here's the other thing that I want you to do. I want you to go in here to sell or to number five over on the left side. Go into number five, right click, and I want you to go to hide. Click on hide. Notice it now goes away. Do the same thing with nine, hide. Do the same thing with 13, hide. Go down to 17, hide. Go down to 21, and hide. 
Yeah, so now watch. I'm going to go back up, protect the sheet. Now watch when you go into this, you don't see and you can't get to five. Right? You you can't unhide, you can't get to five, you're not gonna see five. Right? I hit control tilde, you still don't you don't see any of my formulas in there. Right? The only thing that you can do is you can type in these cells. Right? And it'll it'll change. Um, actually the one thing. Insert a C and make it black. Oh, you can if you want. You don't have to necessarily. Yeah, you don't. You don't have to do that if you want to. You certainly can. And the other thing you can do, right? We can do some stuff where if you want to go here and click on the entire. Well, I guess you can't. You'll have to. You'd have to unlock it. So that's. I'm gonna unlock it. So this is how that should look. So before you turn it in, you got to check it to make sure. Okay, if I click here, I can also go up here to home, and I can do different color backgrounds. So I can do like, a, right, different color backgrounds if I wanted to. How did I insert just the top? What I did is I copied it. So I copied here and hit X and then V. Copied here, X and then V. So that way it's only doing that. Percent is you got to do the you got to do equals b two uh, b one divided by twenty five, and then you got to actually hit the correct uh, the percentage up there. Okay, so I will come around individually and help. But again, I've recorded this video, so you can uh, I'll throw it up on YouTube later. So if you need to get it, you can.